Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this Friday evening. Hope you've had a lovely week. Looking forward to a nice weekend ahead. Um, nice practice today with plenty of uh, leg stretches and lateral bends. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy that. As always, throughout the practice, listen to your body. Only do what feels right for you today. So let us begin lying down. Making yourself nice and comfortable on your mat with your knees bent and your feet about shoulder width apart. Encouraging the small of your back to make contact with the mat. So your pelvis is slightly tilted. Soften the shoulders. Softening the muscles in your face. go of your day and everything that's going on in your world. Just bringing yourself to your mat. And let your attention go to your breath as you inhale through your nose, filling your belly, pause, and then exhale nice and slowly. Extending that exhale. And let's take two more breaths here. And then from here, just rolling onto your uh, left side, holding yourself up here. So either with the um, shoulder over the wrist and the hand straight out, or if you like to rest your chin, do. You can let the left leg come out long, flexing that foot, holding on to the right leg and then just begin to open it up. So working with your body here, don't worry about how straight or bent the knee is, that's absolutely fine. Just starting to feel a little bit of a stretch on the hamstrings here and flexing that right hip. One more breath. And then releasing that right foot down, let's just swing around and take that to the other side. So extending out the right leg and holding on to the feet in that left leg as you raise that left leg up. Enjoying that stretch, breathing into it. One more breath here. And then releasing the leg down, coming to lie on your belly. And let the forehead come down onto the mat and the arms come down by your side. And as you inhale, draw up the forehead and chest away from the mat, keeping that gaze on the mat. And 
exhale down. And again, inhaling, lifting up. And exhaling, slowly coming down one more time. And then we're going to try it with the legs and the chest. So on your next inhale, lifting up the forehead and chest and the legs and arms. And exhaling, coming down two more times. And coming all the way down and um, having the hands folded in front of you let the forehead rest here and let's just take three breaths here in this crocodile pose with a nice gentle back bend after those more challenging ones Then when you're ready, rolling over onto your back. And with your right leg, draw the right knee in towards the chest, flexing both feet, holding that right leg there. And as you exhale, drawing that knee in a little deeper. Increasing that flexion in the hip. And keeping the right leg where it is, just come on to the, uh, bend the left knee, coming on to the left foot. Cross that right leg over the left thigh and lifting up the left thigh and hold on to the back of your thigh if that works for you. Both feet flexed, softening the shoulders, releasing the muscles in the face and the jaw. Two more breaths here, really getting the full advantage of this pose. And then letting that left foot come down and the right, this time extending out that right leg, flexing the foot, and draw the left knee in towards the chest. Softening the body. Encouraging that knee to come closer to the chest. And then bending the right knee, crossing the left leg over it, 
just so the ankle is protruding and then lifting up that right leg to come into your reverse pigeon pose. One more breath here. And letting both feet come down onto the mat and raising both feet up. Let them look up at the ceiling, keeping those knees nice and bent. And then if you are able to reach the outside edge of those feet for a happy baby pose, do. If you can't, you can always hold on to the thighs here. One more breath here. And releasing the feet, let them come down onto the mat with your knees bent just rolling over onto your side and coming up to sit and sitting up nice and tall here letting those um, toes feet flex toes pointing upwards and hands down by your side for a staff pose One more breath here. And then let's come into a forward fold. So bend your knees as much as you need to as you fold down towards your legs, thinking about the lower rib cage coming into contact with the upper thighs. Stretch the arms out to reach the feet. And then really letting the breath help you here. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, deepen that fold, getting a little closer to those legs. One more breath. And then drawing yourself back up to sit with this right leg, bend the knee, keeping the left leg extended. So here you've got some choices. So we're gonna be folding forward to reach this left leg but we can do it with a little bit of a, a, a bind as well so with your right arm if you like bring it inside your right leg and then draw it around behind and you can just be like this or if you want to take a little further take your left hand and bring it towards that right hand if you've got a belt or a strap you could use that if you can't quite reach your fingers or if you can reach your fingers great do that and then from here in this twisted sage pose as it's known let's just fold forward here so you'll feel a slightly different sensation folding in this way a little bit more hip action going on in the right in the left hip One more breath here. And coming all the way up. 
bring that right foot against the left thigh and bending that left foot hold on to the left foot and raise it up drawing it out to the side sitting up tall so we still want to have ear over shoulder shoulder over hip so the temptation here is to come back a little bit draw the shoulders back so make sure that they're up nice and tall and that you're not rounding we want a nice long spine One more breath here. And then letting that left leg come down, I'm just going to swing around here so you can see. So we've got our left leg out to the side as we were holding it out to the side. And now we're going to take a bend towards that left leg. So draw the right arm up, really nice lateral bend here on the right side as you just bend down towards that left foot. Try to keep the shoulders stacked on top of each other. Really feeling a big stretch on that right side. and coming all the way back up to sit good let's take it back to our staff pose letting the feet come out long hands either side of the hips sitting up tall and coming forward into a forward fold see can you get a little bit deeper this time one more breath here And coming all the way up to sit let's try our sage on this side so bending that left knee and of course the closer in you bring your your left foot the easier the bind will be with the left arm bringing it inside the uh, bended knee the left leg and drawing it around the front of the shin bringing the right hand back to meet it only if this feels right for you. So it's just as effective to do this without the bind and just move down towards the extended leg. So work with your body. And from here, let's again fold forward towards this extended leg. And coming back up, releasing the bind if you have it, letting that left leg come in contact with the right, or sorry, left foot in contact with the right thigh. And then bending that right leg, holding onto the foot, raising it up and out to the side, sitting up nice and tall here. One more breath. And releasing that right leg down, let it come out long, that's it. Keeping the left foot in against the right thigh. As you sit up nice and tall, and let's take this bend towards the right leg this time and you might find as I do that this side is a little stiffer 
or maybe you'll find it easier. One more breath here. And coming all the way back up again. Let's once more come to sit with the legs extended out in your staff pose, sitting up tall. One more breath. And then bending those knees, shifting the weight to uh, your seat bones as you lift your feet up off the mat, stretching the arms out, lengthening through that spine, nice straight back. We don't want to be rounding here. Let the core help you. One more breath. And letting those feet come down onto the mat, hug the shins. And then lowering yourself down onto the mat, keep the knees bent for now. Walk the feet out to the outside edge of the mat, bringing your arms into a T and we're just going to let the legs drop over to the right and then come up and drop over to the left and just swing it from side to side there for a couple of times. And when next your legs are over to the left, let them stay there. Turn your gaze to the right. One more breath on this side. And then taking it over to the right, turning your gaze to the left. If it helps, you can always put your right hand on to your right knee to encourage it to come as close to the ground as possible. And then when you're ready, coming back to the center, let the soles of the feet meet as your knees flop out to the side. One more breath here. If you find this a particularly comfortable pose, and a lot of people do, feel free to come back to this pose for your final resting pose. But for now, draw those knees together 
and hug them in to the chest, just gently swaying from side to side. And then when you're ready, letting those feet come down onto the mat, palms facing upwards, either let the legs come out long or if you prefer, let the soles of the feet meet and the knees come out to the side. And allow your body now to just take a little time to process all of that stretching, and movement as you just let go of your feet and your legs, letting go of your glutes and pelvis, the whole back of your body and shoulder blades. front of your body, chest and shoulders. Letting go of your arms and your hands. Your head, face, jaw and chin. The whole of your body, just let it go. And take a little time here for gratitude. Gratitude to yourself for making the time to do your practice. And then let your attention go to your breath. As you inhale through your nose, filling your belly, pause, and then exhale. Letting your breath just help you connect with your inner self. And keeping your attention with your breath, rest here for a few minutes. 